graders. For the remainder of the school year, we thought it would be fun for you guys to work on a passion project. A passion project is an activity you decide to do based on your choice of subject and you also have many choices on how to present your ideas and what you have learned. When you're getting ready to do your passion project, consider the following. You decide what the project will be. It's up to you to set a goal for your passion project. You decide how big or how small your project will be. The standards are set by you. You are the creative director. You create the plan you're going to work on in order to complete your passion project. It's up to you to determine how often to work on your project, but we suggest starting with an hour a day and then go from there, see if you need more or less time. It's up to you to determine what success looks like for your passion project. We just want to see you interested in working on something. Whatever you do as a project, if you cared about it, we will see that in the final project because you can definitely tell the difference between somebody doing something they didn't really like and so it just doesn't come out that good because they didn't really care compared to if they choose something that they really cared about, that they were really excited about, there it's going to show because you'll see how amazing it is. Passion projects are good for you to accomplish because they foster your well-being by doing something that makes you excited. They give you a reason to jump out of bed each morning. It will make you feel good about yourself, and it will nourish your spirit. So here are some steps to follow as you're thinking about what to do for your project. So step one, brainstorm passion project ideas. Set a timer for about 15 minutes and brainstorm all the possible passion project ideas you can come up with. So anything that comes to mind that sounds like it could be interesting or really cool to do, just jot it down. 15 minutes, jot down as many ideas as you can think of. Step two, commit to one passion project. Take a look at all of the ideas that you came up with during your brainstorming session and commit to one you can get done in two weeks. Set a goal. Notice the word project in the term passion project. A project has a goal that you want to achieve. Start by setting a small goal, then when you achieve it, you set another bigger goal. So that's what your project should mostly be, is like think about all the things you're going to need to do in order to get it done, and then do those things step by step. You know, do one goal at a time, and then move on to the next part. Step four. Make time for your passion project. If you selected the right passion project and you set a goal that excites you, coming up with the time to work on your passion project should be a lot more doable than you probably think that is right now. Start with a goal of one hour a day set aside to work on this project. So as you start working on your passion project and you're thinking like, ugh, I don't, do I have to do that right now? then maybe it's not the right project for you to be working on and you might consider working on something else because the whole point of a passion project is that it ignites your passion. It excites you. When you think about doing it, you're like, yes, I want to work on that today. I'm so excited to do it. So if you're not excited, probably not the right project. Pick something else. Step five, final projects might be to create a multimedia presentation or a Google slideshow. So this could be like a Kahoot quiz, it could be a Flipgrid, it could be a research paper, it could be a video on YouTube or TikTok. You could do an art presentation, it could be like a mural or a painting or a sculpture or something like that. And if you have a different idea, let us know what that might be. And then Mrs. Johnen created a Google form for you to work on. For your passion project um, that'll help us to help you so you'll get the link and you'll put your first and last name you'll put what the subject of your project is you'll put how we the teacher can help you so maybe we can help you find YouTube videos or help you find books or articles for you to use now of course these would have to be online books but um, 
or if there's something else that you can think of that we could help you with in order to get your project done. And then how will you present your passion project? You could, like if you're gonna make a video, if you're gonna do a slideshow or a research paper, you could be writing a poem, writing a song, writing a story. You could make a model of something, you know, like a model being a smaller or larger version of something. Um, or if there's another, another way that you were thinking of presenting your passion project, you would put that here and then submit it. And then we'll take a look and see how we can help you or if there is anything that you need help with. All right, so get excited, pick something that excites you and have fun with it.